Hello, my friends. I'm making uh, beautiful samples for this VIP package. Uh, this VIP package is for dress Angelica. You can see this dress here. I will show you right now. It's about a long evening dress. And together with my client, we have chosen uh, new colors. The main colors will be ivory and also light gold will be very interesting. This dress, it has two main colors and also several addition colors to create different, yes, flowers, leaves and like this. So in our case, we will make this upper part by using ivory, Sapphire Lux, it's number 02, very beautiful thread. Let's see where we have the number. Here we have the number 02. And uh, next skirt, we will use light gold thread, this one, uh, number 28, 38, like this, light gold. And additional colors, we have light, uh, just dark gold, also a little bit of this brown, golden brown. And also I want to use a little bit of green color. This will be olive thread number 613, you can see this number here. And also we have a multicolored thread, Chalabi, uh, this one. It looks really perfect together with all these colors. We have here ivory, light gold, dark gold, also beige. And also we ha here we have also golden beige thread number 803, this thread. So like you can see, this multicolored thread is very rare and it looks really perfect together with all these colors. In this huge kit, we have 1,700 grams of threads, and uh, I pre have prepared this journal, also a USB flash drive, crochet hook, my favorite crochet hook. Here we have uh, PDF lessons, video tutorials, and also in this magazine, my client will find all schemes and also all samples. Right now, I have some part of samples, just I need to iron them and also I need to hide tails, but I can show you some. For example, this square shape element, Daphna, is ready already. I hide tails, iron and stretch everything. I used ivory and also golden beige thread to create this element. After, I can show you this one is... Uh, also motif Daphna, just I made it in original color, this one. It will be, uh, we will use it uh, at the upper part of dress. And next, I didn't iron these elements, but we have here flowers, uh, three petals made into colors. I need to hide tails and iron it. Also have these flowers with thread Chelby. Uh, yes, we have here middle part from Sapphire Lux, and after I used this multicolored thread Chelby, and these flowers are really fantastic. We have these elements, also flowers three petals, I made different variants, for example this one with gold and green, also here we have dark gold and ivory, I need to iron and stretch this element, also just separate flowers, gold colors, and flowers like this, a part of fringe. I also need to iron and stretch this part. It will be also sample. Uh, long leaves with different colors we have. Also have green somewhere. These elements, also we need to hide tails and iron everything. Part, yes, half of motif Daphna in ivory color, two times. Also flowers, small flowers, talisman, different design and more flowers in different colors. And next we have small leaves with different color design. Also we need to hide tails here. And some small ivory elements, they are also ready. And the last few elements like this. Right now I am making the biggest element that we will use for skirt. We have their motifs Cassiopeia. So I will make one really big element with five segments and this element my client this is all motives my student can use for this project because i am making all this project uh, all these motives from uh, these colors yes uh, that's why it's really perfect and also i will create just one segment like this also like sample and this motif uh, also can be used in composition yes so it's really great and like you can see a lot of samples we are sending so my client can use them and this is ready part of work i think 
um, my student will be very happy to get all these samples ready <laughs> and they're really beautiful and uh, next uh, right now i will continue to make this element step by step next uh, i will hide all tails iron and stretch all elements and like this step by step i will prepare really amazing vip package for my new student from united states and this thread is the, the most beautiful yarn uh, to use for this uh, tender lace, for dresses, for blouses and skirts. It's perfect. It's very soft, silky, shiny. And after, uh, you will see how it looks after I will iron and stretch it. So you will see the result. Let's continue our work. I will make next segment by using, yes, pattern that we have inside of our magazine. And also we have it in usb flash drive yes so here in this magazine i have colored schemes also my client can use usb flash drive to watch detailed video tutorial from the first look to the last stage uh, i am showing there how to create each element so it's really perfect also we have their next steps how to make um, composition of motifs how to join individual elements and create continuous lace how to make edgings around the neckline around the bottom line how to join fringes everything we have there so all steps in one usb flash drive and my student can watch them at any uh, convenient time so it's perfect and now uh, let's continue our work i really love to crochet so this part of work is the best i think and now we can continue to make this element cassiopeia and next part i will show you let's do this i continue to make motif cassiopeia so now i am making second segment second part of this big uh, element and here we have really amazing design with this uh, front post uh, stitches and back post crochet stitches we have really beautiful design this lines borders of petals and now i will make next row so let's do this starting from here yes two stitches around this two stitches after five chain loops one two three four five and around this arch three double crochet stitches with one top point like this we have and again five chain loops and again three double crochet stitches with one top point again five chain loops and once again three stitches with one top point and now we have this petal at the top we should finish these two lines and create beautiful petal first i will make five chain loops and after two stitches with this awesome design like this after i need to skip this part and again two stitches here and in such way we will get beautiful shape of this petal after again five chain loops and i will continue in the same way just three stitches join it at the top point again five chain loops and three stitches and in such a way i will continue my work after just two rows more and i will finish this segment and next i will start to make third one yes will be nice I just finished it to make a third part. You can see um, how beautiful is this design. And uh, yes, right now we have first uh, flower with eight petals. After uh, we have part uh, with uh, four petals and three petals also. And now you can see I started to make uh, segment number four. Uh, there we also uh, have three petals like this just you should make everything really accurate yes when you are making lace like this and uh, after i will iron and stretch it and you will see the result so uh, now i need to make next few rows and i will see these beautiful three petals also so now i am making next row and uh, i'm using colored scheme that we have inside of magazine that I am sending to my client 
and now I will make two stitches. Just first I need to make switching loops. One, two, three. Switching loops and now two stitches to get beautiful contour. Now I need to make a lot of double crochet stitches, uh, two stitches of previous row and this uh, pattern is not difficult but each time I need to check the scheme, I don't want to make any mistake here, so that's why I need to check twice everything and now two stitches more and again I will make this two stitches to get really nice shape of these petals so let's make this two stitches okay like this perfect and after again start to make double crochet stitches and this will be middle petal and here two last stitches double crochet stitches and after again here just I need to make like this very accurate the, the same size of stitches with the same tension of thread and the last petal the same combination of stitches And here in the end also I will make two stitches like this. And I need to check on the scheme where to join, yes. This next part, let's see how everything works. So we have three parts, I will join to the same, okay, to the same arch. And before this I need to make, so it's row number three, switching loops, okay one two three to the same arch and like this after i need to make two chain loops and join to the next arch by making single crochet turn the work and after uh, we can make one chain loop and now i will make two stitches around this one because we have a really special design let's see two stitches after Two chain loops not tied and again two stitches around one stitch of previous row okay i have this difficult combination of stitches next i need to skip one stitch and after in the middle we have how many stitches we have let's see in this one row we have seven stitches i think seven okay so let's make two three four five six and the last one seven and now again this special combination of stitches uh, two stitches around one stitch of previous row two chain loops and again two stitches around one and two now again skip one stitch and here we should make seven double crochet stitches step by step And in such a way I will continue my work this row yes and after I will show you four segments how everything looks yes and I will start to make the last segment number five this is the biggest element yes I think from all my crochet courses and I think my student will be happy to see uh, this really nice sample and even she can use it uh, to make beautiful dress Angelica. It's really perfect. And she can compare her results with this sample. And it's really, um, it's really great because uh, here my student can see what style, uh, just style of crocheting I have, what size of stitches, yes. And this can help to create another element like this. 
it's not a problem if my student will get a little bit different size of this element because it's really normal. <laughs> Each of us has different style of crocheting. Yes, so it's normal. But it's really good to see what result you should get during your work. And that's why I'm making this this all samples for my students for VIP packages. Okay, I really enjoy this pattern <laughs> with these petals. So I will make a few more rows and finish this segment and next we will have the last one. Uh, so right now I have first main and one, two, uh, three, yes, three additional parts. And now I'm making part number five with three petals also like this. Uh, like you can see, this part of lace, this motif will be really huge. And uh, the design is very beautiful. So now I want to finish this part. And yes, uh, I will cut the thread. So let's finish the last part. Next, I'm making next rows with also beautiful design. So right now I will check on the scheme. So switching loops I have now three stitches, double crochet stitches around this arch. And I need to join them at the top point. After one, two, three chain loops and again the same three double crochet stitches with one top point. And again switching loops. After I will make two stitches like this. And here in the middle I will make only three double crochet stitches it's narrowing of this petal so um, i should make here only three stitches and after in the middle i will not make any stitches at all very soon i will finish these petals and this last segment so now again switching loops and three double crochet stitches with one top point again switching loops and three double crochet stitches like this and again switching loops now my favorite stitches i really enjoy to make them and three double crochet stitches here in the middle of our petals and again two stitches like this and switching loops Again, three double crochet stitches, join it at the top point, switching loops, and again, three stitches, join it at the top point, and switching loops. And now the last two stitches here, first one, second one. Now we need to ch check on the scheme where to join these stitches. Let's see. I need to make one chain loop and joining to the next arch. One chain loop and joining to the next arch. Okay, we have it. After, uh, start new row. Just two chain loops and join to the same arch. Turn the work. And now one stitch around this one stitch. And after five chain loops. And three double crochet stitches with one top point. One, two, three, four, five chain loops, and again three double crochet stitches with one top point. One, two, three, four, five, and again three times. I should do like this to get this beautiful design. And now five chain loops. And now this top part of petals, I need to make two stitches at one side and two stitches at the other side and I don't touch this middle part. In such way I will get beautiful shape of petals like this. I will show you at this side, yes. Really interesting. And next five chain loops and three double crochet stitches with one top point. And we should make five chain loops and three stitches again. Join it at the top point. One, two, three, four, five, and again three stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I will make this top part 
of second petal just two stitches at this side and two stitches at the other side and now I will continue to make again arches and this part and just a few more rows and I will finish this last segment I will show you the result uh, so now the last stitches I need to make just joining here by making a single crochet stitch like this after one chain loop and single crochet to the next arch and one more chain we can cut the thread i need to leave tail real long and that's all i finished it to make this really beautiful sample of lace it's cassiopeia and uh, for skirt my student will use this element and also different uh, size of this element uh, three segments one segment and yes yeah, this will be for beautiful skirt light gold color uh, yes and for the, for today uh, as that's all that i will show you but also i plan to show you everything that i will make i will continue to make this vp package and i will show you details yes and you will see this all nuances also, I want to say, we have a lot of crochet courses, they are ready, they are detailed, and we have them at our main website, jthouse.net slash store. There you will see also amazing yarn kits, and with big pleasure, I will help you to choose colors for your project. Be sure that you will create a really fantastic project by using high-quality schemes, by using high-quality tutorials, and really amazing and very beautiful threads. Uh, thank you so much for your attention and see you very soon at the new videos and I wish you all the best. Stay safe and bye-bye for now.